Gwyneth Paltrow has weighed in on the topic of superhero fatigue, reflecting on how the oversaturated genre can lead to low-quality action hero films. If I look at the industry as a whole, this sort of big push into superhero movies, I mean you can only make so many good ones that feel truly original, the award-winning actress explained during an appearance on a recent episode of First We Feasts, Hot Ones, aired March 21. The YouTube talk show centers on host Sean Evans posing questions to celebrity guests as they move through 10 rounds of consuming chicken wings doused in increasingly spicier hot sauces. Regarding superhero films, Ms. Paltrow, 51, is somewhat of a veteran in the genre herself, having portrayed the fictional character Pepper Potts in seven Marvel movies, including, The Iron Man, Franchise, Spider-Man, Homecoming, and three, Avengers, films. She told Mr. Evans that the oversaturation of these types of films is largely because studios are always trying to reach as many people. This, she said, sometimes hinders quality or specificity or real point of view. Ms. Paltrow's remarks were in response to comments made by Cord Jefferson at the 96th Academy Awards. During the ceremony, the writer-director won his first Oscar, taking home the award for Best Adapted Screenplay for his 2023 comedy drama, American Fiction. The film, which is based on Percival Everett's 2001 novel, Erasure, marked Mr. Jefferson's directorial debut. It features an ensemble cast of Jeffrey Wright, Sterling K. Brown, Issa Rae, Adam Brody, and Tracy Ellis Ross, among others. During his acceptance speech, Mr. Jefferson, a former journalist, said, many people passed on making his film. He also urged Hollywood execs to give more chances to budding filmmakers like himself by prioritizing small-budget films. It's a plea to acknowledge and recognize that there are so many people out there who want the opportunity that I was given, he said, adding that he's aware the movie business is a risk-averse industry. The $200 million movies are also a risk, and it doesn't always work out that you take the risk anyway, he explained. Instead of making one $200 million movie, try making $20 10 million movies or $50 4 million movies. He continued, I felt so much joy making this movie, and I want other people to experience that joy. And they are out there, I promise you.